This is a question that came in from Facebook. I don't know where it came from, but it's kind of hard, and I think uh, it's a good one to make a video for because uh, the process here, I think, is an interesting one and one worth making a point about. So I'll put the question in the, uh, in the, you know, in the text below, but I'll also read it to you right now because it tells you important stuff. First of all, it says not drawn to scale, and in this question, uh, more than most, it's really not the scale, as you'll see in a minute. They say in triangle ABC above, AB equals BC. So AB and BC are the same. This is an isosceles triangle, ABC, and AB and BC are the same. That means that angle A, which is Z degrees, and angle C is also, uh, those are going to be the same as well. And that's because we know when we have an isosceles triangle, the angles across from the equal sides are also equal. Super important to remember that in the SAT. Um, so we know that. We know CD bisects angle C. That's also going to be useful for us. So CD bisects angle C. Uh, and then the question says y equals one third x. And it asks us for z. And for z, we get a bunch of options. We get a, b, c, d, and e. And why am I taking the time to actually write these answer choices down for you instead of just solving? Well, because I'm not going to solve. I'm going to back solve. And this is a really important technique that I don't think gets enough play. And so we're going to back solve this. Uh, the answer choices are 40, 60, 64, 72, and 80. When we back solve, we usually start with C. And so what we're going to do is we're going to assume that Z equals 64, and we're going to see what happens. If Z is 64 degrees, then what we have here, of course, this is also 64. When we cut it in half, that means each of these are 32 degrees. And now we can kind of fill in the rest of the triangles, right? 64 plus 32 is 96. 180 minus 96 is 84. So that means x is 84. And 180 minus 84, we just figured that out the other way, it's 96. Um, and then we also have y. Uh, to get y, we do 180 minus 96 minus 32. And that's going to be 52 degrees. Now, is 52 one third of 84? No, it's not even close, right? So, so according to answer choice C, uh, this question doesn't work, which means answer choice C doesn't work. It's not the right answer. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of back out of this, and we're going to try some different numbers. There we go. Now, you want to think for a minute about whether you should go up or down here. And usually it's more obvious than this, but we're going to want to go up. We want z to get bigger because as z gets bigger, y gets smaller, right? If z gets bigger, y is in the same triangle as z, so y is going to have to get smaller. And because we were so far away, I'm going to see if I can get a little shortcut um, by going over to e. So I'm going to try z equals 80. And also I'm doing this because the math is easier, right? These are nice round numbers, and so I can do this choice quickly. So if z is 80, then this is also 80, which means each of these is 40. And if each of these are 40, then 80 plus 40 is 120, so x is 60. And if x is 60, then the straight line means this is 120. And now triangle uh, BCD is 120 and 40. That's 160, so y must be 20 degrees. And now 20 is one third of 60. 20 is one third of 60, which means everything checks out. E is our answer. Now, if you want to do this with math, of course it's possible, and uh, you can leave those solutions in the comments, but I really wanted to point out here how even on a question that doesn't really look like your typical back solve, uh, back solve can be a really valuable technique, because uh, if you get stumped on this, you want to have a backup plan, even if you, know, you don't like back solving as your first option. If a question stumps you, you want to have it as a second option, which means you have to practice it. All right, so that's back solve. This is Poem the SAT. I am Mike, and I will see you all soon.